session. <coughs> Favoring, opposed, I'm curious. Item 21 is an order. Discussion? Favoring, opposed, I'm curious. 22 is an order. Discussion? Favoring, opposed, I'm curious. 23 is an order. Discussion? Tag. Um, item 23, tag, well, I need Item 24 is in order. Discussion? Favoring? Opposed? I'm curious. 25 is in order. Discussion? Favoring? Opposed? I'm curious. 29 is in order. Discussion? Favoring? Opposed? I'm curious. Item 30 is in order. Discussion? Discussion. Item 30, Councilman Kulak. Mayor, I'm concerned that uh, CSMART is 152% over its uh, original projected cost. And I want the council members to know that on August the 3rd of 2010, in a budget and physical affairs committee meeting, it was projected that the cost of this program uh, would be somewhere around 13.2 million. Uh, there's printouts, I think all of you may have received one. Data cleansing, a million. Acceptance testing training, 1.8 million. And here we're setting at 39 million. We want 4 million more. I, I asked for the uh, IT director to give us a a list of what things would be in the second phase, and I just received it today. William Paul brought me the copy of the email that I hadn't seen yet this morning of some of the things that I haven't had time to look at it uh, thoroughly. I'm concerned that that after all of this money that we have spent, uh, I mean, when the fire department was over budget 10.5 million, we we passed a Pennington. Martin resolution to address it. Uh, if this if this had been in the budget of the municipal courts, uh, it, it would have really devastated the courts. The courts budget, if you look at what they've done over the last few years, and this computer system is for the municipal courts, the income has been the net income has been coming down. 32 million in 2011, 32 million in 2012. 30 million in 2013, while the expenses have been going up, the net income last year for the municipal course was five million dollars. We're spending 40 plus million dollars on a program for a court that I believe is is we're just driving the ground. It's been mismanaged. You need to be aware of this as a as a city council. We have got to do something. I'm very concerned about what's happening. I'm concerned about the fact that what happens after we approve this, is this the end of it? Or is there going to be more money needed? What about this, this fee to, uh, to continue uh, funding it or, or to operating it 1.8 million, between 1.8 million and 2.4 million annually? When you look back at the RCA dated 213 to 13, the amount included $14 million for seven years of maintenance and $2 million a year, which is seven times $2 million a year, which would be $14 million. I thought that was supposed to be included in this. And here we are at $40, maybe $42 million if we approve this $4 million. I, I'm, I'm really concerned about uh, where this is going. The only council member that spoke up on August the 3rd, 2010 was Brenda started. It, it seemed very prophetic what she said. If you go back and look at that video, I got her to look at it yesterday. So, uh, Mayor, I'm going to tag this, and and uh, I'll, I'm I'm open for to let the council members discuss it, but I do want to tag. I'm Mr. Tag. Uh, Councilman Kennedy, do you have a question? Hey, yes, I do have a question. Uh, we uh, the last time I recall we we voted on money 
for this project, for the Sea Smarts project. It was supposed to be a final appropriation uh, of money. Uh, and I, that's my, my recollection. So my question is, uh, is this an additional $4 million, or is this just to pay the money that's already been appropriated? And uh, if it is an additional sum of money, I think it's you know it's worthy of having an additional discussion, as, as uh, Councilmember Kubash has suggested. Hey, Councilmember, we uh, one of the votes we had taken was to approve a fixed price contract, right. but not all of the money had been uh, appropriated under that fixed price contract. So, so this, the, is another, this is another. <coughs> So this, this is not additional money for the project, then? This is just it is additional money for the project, but it is within the fixed price contract. With, with, so within within the the fi yeah, within yes. the fixed price that we voted on last time. Yes. Correct. Okay, thank you very much. That's what Davis. Okay, uh, I'm going to do a council member uh, Kubash uh, impersonation. So what happens if we don't vote on this $4 million? I mean, what's going to happen with the system? At some point, we have to we, we have contract a fixed price contract for the delivery of a municipal courts courts management system. At some point, we have to finish paying for the system in order to get the. Uh, so we should have a, a defunct system. What we put all the money in it. Correct. Councilman Brett. Yeah, I, I simply just want to go on the record uh, again, say that uh, we've been asked to spend. Uh, the final part of a forty-two million dollar expenditure, and I've been asking for two years for uh, performance testing. And I just think it's reasonable to say before we uh, spend uh, the last part of forty-two million dollars that that we ask the, the director to to give us some assurances that some entity, some uh, other source other than just one individual is standing behind the fact that this thing is going to work. I've talked to IT personnel outside the city of Houston and they all concur that this body should have been presented along the way the results of some type of performance testing along the way. And Mr. Thompson has testified on the record on several occasions that he plans to do performance testing at the end. I think it's completely unacceptable and uh, you just add my tag, and, and maybe between now and next week, uh, the courtesy should be extended uh, to share the results of a performance test if such has been performed. But I don't think such has been performed. Thank you. That's the point that you have. Yeah, Mayor, this is a fixed price contract, correct? Correct. They, the vendor does not get paid until they deliver. Am I correct? Correct. Although we are, we are still paying under that fixed price contract. Right, and this is uh, uh, the it's last the set. Yeah, I spoke with the director, and I just want to be on record or be clear about uh, the, the conversation we had. This is the last set of appropriations on this? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. And uh, as I indicated uh, last week, I think, with Dr. Uh, Kubak, uh, the uh, <coughs> Well, I believe it's expected to be in September, and uh, I offered Councilman Kubas the opportunity to go over there and try to crash the system. The goal is they have to provide a working system. We've laid out the specification. Councilman, starting. Thank you, Mayor. Um, uh, once again, this is you know these are, these are hard questions to ask <laughs> in the in the chambers. I'd rather ask them. Um, before this, but once again, uh, Councilmember Davis, what happens? You know, who's what recourse do we have if this fails at the end? That's that's I guess that's my question. What recourse do we have at the end if this fails? The taxpayers, the forty uh, something million. We, we go after the the vendor to whom we've been paying paying money. <coughs> there are performance guarantees in this contract. The contract will be up. And what what? What what do the taxpayers get back? Do they get their money back? Is it a refund? Do we go back to the, the, the goal is to get a working checkout stand and say, hey, here's my ticket, I want it back. The goal is to get a working a working product. Mr. Feldman. 
Well, e either they produce a product that works or they're liable to us and damages for the to do that in the contract. Whether you breach the contract, there are forms here. Okay. And has someone thought through the process in the event, a contingency plan, in the event that it fails, are we, it's, it's, you know, I want, I'd like to think past, you know, what ifs. Mm -hmm. I assume, and I don't, I, that's a bad thing to say, it's right here. So I assume <laughs> that someone has thought through that in the event that it fails, what are you, what is this, what are the courts going to do? How are they going to, to recover? Is there any, is there any damage to the courts? Are there, I, I don't know these things because I'm not, I, I'm not an SME on this, this issue. So I, I'm asking the question from a, from a lay person that doesn't understand that part of it. There is no commercial system in the United States that does what we need to do, which is why we it was on the shelf. We had we had several false starts trying to buy something off the shelf, and so we went down the path of uh, creating a standalone. And we hope that we can market this standalone. But if it doesn't uh, if it doesn't work, we are we would either attempt to force the vendor to uh, perform under the compliance standards or the performance standards we have in the contract, or we would go after them for our money back and uh, uh, we would have to start over the process. There, is, there isn't uh, a product out there that we need. But a third party, I mean, when we do engineering projects, I, we, we're not afraid of bringing another engineering firm. I mean, it oversee and oversee. Let's oversight the oversight. I mean, that's not, a, that's not an issue here, but this is 40, Forty million dollars that I just want to make sure that we're not depending on someone that designed it and made those decisions, and they've got an ownership on it that you know they're afraid to say, oh, I screwed that up. <laughs> so I'm, I know this is frank discussion, but I think it's something that we have to do. There's there's a lot of money involved. Council member, I will have Mr. Thompson uh, reach out to each council member. Uh, a number of council members I know have been briefed on this over the years, but uh, to answer individual questions. Councilman Green. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, uh, first of all, uh, I, I know a lot of these issues uh, have been raised because we did uh, have an opportunity to vet these through the TTI committee, where we had the, the director here, and every council member had an opportunity to ask those questions. With regard to specific performance testing, this particular contract provides that a payment is done upon the completion of a part of uh, the system. So if, if it doesn't pass, pass that performance test on that particular stage, then they don't get paid. So performance testing is going. Secondly, a final uh, performance ha test will have to be done, but that performance test will have to go in concert with the RMS. RMS is the police system, so the police system has to be completed first so that the police system can talk to the court system there's no way you're going to be able to do that prior to until RMS is completed. <coughs> Third, with regard to an existing system, if this fails, uh, we just, I believe two weeks ago, agreed uh, to continue and pass uh, 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 funds to allow the existing provider to continue to provide the service on the existing system if, in fact, uh, this the uh, uh, CMC smart doesn't come up in time or whatever. We actually have a system in place, and what we would do is we would continue to do that. So we have thought that through. So uh, you know, I look forward to the tag. I think that uh, uh, Judge Hartle and the and Director Thompson have done a tremendous job by, by bringing this online. I think they've put systems in place. Uh, I think we will have the opportunity to vet. I'm quite comfortable that if it doesn't work. Uh, uh, that there are provisions within the contract whereby the city uh, will not be harmed and we will be able to recoup our, recoup our dollars. And so, uh, uh, again, we did, they did come to TTI with this. I believe there were documents uh, uh, subsequent to TTI meeting that showed uh, how other court systems are operating within the city, within the county. We also talked about, uh, with regard to the budget, I believe numbers have been uh, uh, provided for every member of council with regard to every dime of this particular contract, how it's been spent. Uh, and so I think there's been quite a bit of transparency uh, with regard to this. And I think even now we talked about even phase two uh, of the contract and, and, and what that's going to provide. And so 
uh, we all have an opportunity to look at it, to ask the, the, the tough questions. And so uh, uh, I think they've done a great job and I think we just need to see where, uh, 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 how this thing uh, spans out. So thank you. Councilor Pua. 